Today we're going to look at additional features formats of Telerix RAD barcode, part of Telerix RAD controls for Silverlight WPF control suite for .NET XAML development. In this video we're going to see additional features formats of the RAD barcode, but first let's talk about the series. This is the second video in a three-part series of how to use the RAD barcode. In order to see the first part, check out Silverlight under tv.telerik.com. So in part one of the series, uh, we really looked at getting started with the barcode. We basically went file, new project, and created a barcode. In part two of the series, which is this part, we're going to look at several additional RAD barcode features and formats. So I'm going to give you a little bit of information about the different barcode types and what industries that they're used in. In part three of the series, we're going to look at a real world example using the RAD barcode that involves our RAD book controls as well as how to print barcodes. So on this page, you'll actually see the supported barcode types that RAD barcode supports straight out of the box. You have your code 128, which is what we saw in our first getting started videos, which it is commonly used for labels and in inventory and industrial applications. Then we have code three of nine. We have code EAN. We have code 11. We have PostNet that the Postal Service uses, as well as code 2539. And finally, we have UPC, which stands for Universal Product Code, and is typically placed on items for tracking and pricing information. That brings us to popular barcode types. So we have four barcode types that kind of stand out, and these barcodes is code 128, PostNet, EAN13, and UPCA. So code 128, it is uh, used for alphanumeric or numeric only barcodes, and it's used for labels in inventory and industrial applications. So PostNet is actually stands for Postal Numeric Encoding Technique, and it's a barcode symbology that's used by the United States Postal Service to assist in directing mail. EAN 13 barcodes are used worldwide for making products often sold at retail point of sale. It's a 13 digit, 12 data in one check sum standard, which is a superset of the original 12 digit UPC system that was developed in the United States. So the UPC is commonly used in North America and countries including the UK, Australia, and New Zealand for tracking trade items in stores. Let's go ahead and switch over to Visual Studio and create these barcodes. So now I'm back inside of Visual Studio 2010 and if you haven't checked out the first video then you should go ahead and check that out so you'll know what references to add and so forth. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch my grid here to a stack panel. So I'm just going to type in stack panel here and make sure that my closing tag matches that as well. So now I'm ready to begin creating a few of these different barcodes. So the first one that I'm going to pick is RAD barcode 128. I'm going to go ahead and give it a height of 120 and I'm going to give it a width of 425. I'm going to finish up with giving it a little bit of text, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I'll go ahead and close that tag out. So my first barcode is created, and it was the code 128. I'm going to go ahead and create my second barcode, which was the PostNet. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to type in Telerik, RAD, barcode, and I'm just going to scroll down here until I find PostNet. I'm going to give this the same height and width as I gave before. And I'm going to give this a text of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to close that tag. The next up is going to be creating the EAN 13. 
So I'm back to Telerik. Rad bar code, and we're going to do EAN13. And we'll give it the same hot and width as before. And I'll go ahead and give it a little bit of text. And now, finally, we're going to do the UPC A. So we do rad barcode. And I'm just going to select UPC A. I want to give this the same height and width. And give it a text of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Eight, nine. And I'll close that tag as well. And as you can see from our designer, all of these barcodes are listed on, on the screen here for us as we were typing. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run this project. And you can see uh, our different types of barcodes from our code 128 to our postnet to the EAN 13 to the UPCA. This was very easily done in just four lines of XAML. In our next part of the series, we're going to look at building a real world example using the RAD barcode that involves our RAD book control as well as how to print the barcode. I want to thank you for watching Getting Started with the RAD barcode. Be sure to check out tv.teleric.com for more videos and check out blogs.teleric.com for the latest news and announcements. Feel free to give it a try now by downloading the demo at teleric.com.